Now to the latest on the resurging pandemic. Infections, hospitalizations, and deaths are all up this week. Friday, new daily cases topped 180. Hello. Today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. 86,000. A month ago, only 19% of the country lived in areas of higher substantial community spread. Now it's 98%. CBS's Lilia Luciano joins us with more from Los Angeles. Lilia, good evening. Good evening to you, Adriana. Many hospitals nationwide are overwhelmed. And while here we're not seeing those surges in admissions, those patients that do go to the hospital are very sick. Almost one in four of every COVID patient in an L.A. County hospital is in the ICU. The Delta wave is crushing healthcare resources in several states. In Oregon, 1,500 National Guard troops are being deployed to help hospitals struggling with the latest surge. In Louisiana, Governor John Bell Edwards says the state's healthcare system is facing a major failure. We're in a bad place. Our hospitals are struggling. Even Hawaii is confronting the most daily cases since the pandemic began. Friday 13th has never been so frightening. But Florida is the worst. It leads the list of eight states that make up more than half of all COVID hospitalizations. Texas is facing a health worker shortage. Some patients are waiting days for an ICU bed. The unvaccinated get more sick and unfortunately more of them die. Nationwide, there have never been more children with COVID in hospitals than there are now. <laughs> That's stamping out back to school plans with students across the country heading back home in droves after classroom COVID exposure. That's really nerve wracking, dropping your child every morning to the school where you know the infection has already spread it. And a whole Mississippi school district is suspending in-person learning following an increase in COVID cases. Still, the anti-masking battle rages on. Do we have physical parent attacking a teacher? In California, a parent is accused of assaulting a teacher over a mask mandate. There's a part of me that's not surprised and there's a part of me that's just completely shocked. Health officials here in California say there are 18 new admissions every day among children and young teens. And look, the good news is that's well below the winter surge. The bad news is those numbers have been growing over the last two months. Adriana. Lilia Luciano, thank you.